Hello sunflowers and hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be making something for the exhibition that I'm going to be participating. If you don't know, I am exhibiting in a London gallery, which is the Spacio Gallery. It's going to be from the 10th to the 15th of May 2022, 1 to 9 p.m. If you want to join us feel free it's free for everybody you can visit the exhibition for free and i have collaborated with 26 artists in total including me and we have created a beautiful beautiful flower um, art piece it's called our flower garden it's this beautiful piece right here i don't have any words to describe how i love this art piece it's the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life especially that it's made out of crochet oh lord it's amazing and if you want to have more information about this beautiful our flower garden art piece i'm going to be linking everything in the description so feel free to check it out because it's so beautiful and if you are in london please don't hesitate to visit us also i'm going to be at the exhibition on the 13th and the 14th so yeah if you want to meet me and see the beautiful art piece feel free to join us all right yeah so excited about it so in today's video i'm going to be making a flower chunky maxi large necklace i'm not sure how that's called i completely forgot how that's called it used to be super super trendy a couple of years back but i don't remember the actual name of that if you know just let me know in the comments and i wanted to make something crochet to wear with this dress and i thought why not a beautiful flower necklace and yes i did a little sketch for this one I'm really proud of me because I don't usually do that. So here is the little sketch that I have of the idea for this necklace. So I'm going to be using the beautiful Iggy yarn for this project. You know that this is my favorite yarn for summertime. Also, it's 100% cotton and it's going to be super nice and soft against my skin. So I wanted to make sure that I had the best yarn. And this for me is the absolute best yarn ever in the world. And all the shades will be linked in the description if you want to check it out. And also for two of the roses that I'm going to be making will be with the Amanda 5, also another beautiful yarn by Teslin.com. This one is a little bit thinner than the Iggy yarn and it's colorful and beautiful. Check this out. And then with that, the tools I'm using are three millimeters hook, small pair of scissors, tapestry needle, a hot glue gun for some of the flowers some others we are joining with yarn and then the last thing that i have right now that i'm planning on using are these snap fasteners that it's to basically close and open the necklace at the back so that we can put it on this is what i'm using right now but if i do end up using something else i'll link everything in the description so feel free to check it out so yeah i think we can now start i'm going to be showing you all the flowers and leaves teaching you how to make them and then at the end we are going to be putting this together so I really hope you like it and now let's get on and start with this amazing video so excited so the first flower slash rose that we are going to be making will be this beautiful one right here I wanted to make in between a flower and a rose because I didn't want it to be super bulky I want it to be a little bit more flat than a rose but have the same effect as a rose with all the layers so this is what I came up with and I made one in yellow and one in white and then I'm going to be having another one in yellow with this yarn here. So that's the one that I'm going to be showing you right now. So first start with a slip knot and then chain four, two, three and four. So once you have the chain of four, we are going to be using the very first chain here to go around and create the very first round so into this very first chain make sure that you get two loops on the hook like this into this chain create the first double crochet and then chain one into that same chain create two double crochets And then chain one, 
two double crochets into that same chain and then you're going to keep on repeating the same steps until you have six chain one spaces and then you are also going to be having six groups of two double crochets so as you can see we have one two three four five six groups of two double crochets together and now we are going to be chaining one and we are going to be slip stitching into the chain three right at the beginning right at the top into the third chain insert your hook pull up a loop and slip stitch into the chain one just like this so now we have round number one completed so now for round number two you are going to be slip stitching into the very first chain one space you can find like this and then we are going to be chaining two and into this same chain one space we are going to be creating four half double crochets if you don't know how to make a half double crochet you're going to be making the first part of the double crochet and then yarning over and pulling through all loops together and here is going to be the last one and then to finish the first petal chain one and slip stitch into that same chain one space now we have the very first petal for the first layer now going to the next chain one space create a single crochet and now into this same chain one space that you did the first single crochet you're going to be creating four half double crochets three and four now to finish the petal off chain one into the same chain one space slip stitch and now you can follow exactly the same as we did with this second petal so i'm going to be repeating the same all the way around and then i'll meet you right at the end so when you get at the end i have here my four half double crochets into the last chain one space all you have to do is to chain one and into the same last chain one space slip stitch and now we can start with the second layer of petals so we are going to be chaining three make sure that you make this very first one nice and tight like this so that's one two and three so if i turn my petal here at the back you will see that we have two loops one at the top which is this one and one at the bottom so these are the two loops that you have to look for so insert your hook into those two loops and then you're going to be pulling up a loop and single crochet so chain three one two three go in between the next two petals there are two loops here these two so go into the top loop and the bottom loop together and then single crochet and that's all you have to do going around so when you get at the end you're gonna have something like this so we should have six little loops at the end so that we can do the petals around these loops so the last loop first you're going to chain three and then you're going to be slip stitching right into the very first chain so find the very first chain of that loop pull up a loop and slip stitch just like this so now we can start the second layer of the petals so into this very first chain single crochet chain one and then into this loop into this very first chain three we are going to be making five double crochets so one two three four and five double crochets and then to finish this petal off you're going to chain two and then slip stitch into that same chain like this and now find the next loop the next chain 
single crochet into that chain, chain one, five double crochets into that same chain, and then to finish it off, chain two, and slip stitch into that same chain. And that's how you're going to be making the second layer of petals. So now keep on repeating the same steps all the way around and then I'll meet you right at the end of this one is round number four. So as you can see, I have created all the six petals. When you get into the last one, you're going to be chaining two right after the five double crochets and then slip stitch into that last chain and now we can start with the next layer so chain four and then now you're going to be finding a, a stitch right in between the two petals the next one so we are right here into the next two petals here, I like to go into, there is a little stitch right in between the two petals. Just find any stitch that you can insert your hook, this one for example. And then you're going to be creating a single crochet into that stitch. Make sure that it's nice and tight. And then single crochet, chain four. And now find the next stitch in between the other two petals any stitch you can find this one and then single crochet so keep on repeating the same all the way around and then I'll meet you right at the end at the end do exactly the same as you did to the second layer just find the very first chain into the first chain and then slip stitch and now we are going to be making the last layer of this flower in which it has a little peacock right in the middle in between the double crochet so that it creates this little effect around the flower which I think it looks really nice so you're going to first single crochet into this very first chain the next one basically this one and then you're going to chain one and create four double crochets so one, two, three, and four. Now you're going to be chaining three. So one, two, three. And now to create the peacock, we are gonna go through the front of the double crochet stitch, grabbing these two loops. You can see that I'm inserting the hook right here. And then into these two loops, you're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to slip stitch. Hold the chain three and then slip stitch. It's that easy. And then right after that, you're going to be creating four double crochets into that same chain three, that same loop. So now to finish this petal off, you're going to be chaining two and then slip stitching into that same chain. And here we have the first petal now completed. To move on into the second, into the next petal, you're going to single crochet into the next loop, the next chain four, chain one, and then four double crochets into that same chain four now create a peacock so chain three and then slip stitch grabbing two loops at the front of the last double crochet slip stitch to create the peacock and then four double crochets into that same loop to 
to finish it off. Chain two and then slip stitch into that same chain space. So I'm going to go all the way around, repeating the same steps, and then I'll meet you right at the end. So once you have made the last petal, chain two, and then slip stitch into that last chain. Then you did the double crochets. And now we can fasten off. So I'm going to chain one, cut off yarn and fasten off. I am not going to weave this yarn in just yet. Maybe we are going to be using this to sew the flower into the necklace with the other flowers. So leave with the yarns at the back for now. So now these are completed. Now we are going to be making some tiny little flowers in which they are right here. And this is what we are going to be making now. They are super easy and quick to make. So go ahead and make a magic ring. Just like this. And then we are going to be chaining two. So one and two. Now into the ring, we are going to be making two double crochets. And then to finish this petal off, chain two and slip stitch into the ring. Just like that. Now you're going to be repeating all this again. So chain two and two double crochets into the ring. Chain two and slip stitch into the ring. And you're going to be repeating this until you have as many petals as you want. I'm going to be doing five. So once I have the five petals, I will be back. And then we are going to be doing the next step together. So once you have the five petals, it's going to look something like this, as you can see. So now we are going to fasten off. So chain one, cut off yarn and fasten off. And now you can just close the magic ring by pulling this end that is going around the petals. Pull really nice and tight until it locks in place, just like this. And now you can weave the yarn that it's here at the back. And now you have yourself a tiny little flower. Look at this, so, so cute. And you can make as many as you want. So now the next thing I'm going to show you how to make is this beautiful rose bud. I really love this and so happy on how it turned out, as you can see. So let's make this one, starting with the green. So first you're going to be making a slip knot. And then you can chain as many as you wish. I'm going to be doing here a chain of 18. So once you have your chain, I have here my chain of 18. You're going to be skipping three chains, the next three, not counting the one on the hook. So skipping one, two, three, into the fourth chain, we are going to be making five double crochets. The chain at the beginning here will count as a stitch, but you can also do as many double crochets as you want. Here at the beginning, you just wanna pull a little bit up the two loops, just so it's a little bit nice and leveled with the chain. And then you're going to complete the double crochet. And now make the next four double crochets. In total, we are going to be having five. So one, two, three, four, and five double crochets, all into the fourth chain. So now here we have six stitches in total. Now you can chain one, cut off yarn, 
and then fasten off. And now bring the next shade, the shade that you want to do the little rose, the bud at the top. So with the next shade, I'm going to be making a slip knot. So now we have to attach this yarn into the very last double crochet. So insert into the last double crochet, you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So this is how I attach my yarn in place. And then chain one, turn project, you can bring the two yarns and feed into the double crochets we are going to be making. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook. You're going to be inserting into the next stitch, you're going to pull up a loop and then yarn over, pull through two, keeping that last one on the hook. And then you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook, going into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, keeping the last one on the hook. And then you're going to be doing this until, I'm going to just move this out of the way, until you have covered all the stitches. So into the next one, and then the following one, and then also you want to make sure that you cover the chain right at the end. Just grab one little stitch of the chain and then do exactly the same. Once you have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on the hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops together. So you can see here we already have the bud, oh my God, of a rose. So chain one, you're going to be then turning the project and then here you want to make sure that you chain two. Just do this because it's going to look a little bit better once you add the peacock here. And then you're going to be inserting your hook into the loop right at the top and then you're going to slip stitch, creating a peacock here at the top and then just find one stitch on the side here on the left side and then just slip stitch and now we can chain one cut off yarn and fasten off so now we can weave in So we've been completed and this is how the rosebud looks like. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this. And I made two so that we can add into the necklace. And now I'm going to show you how to make these little curly things that I want to add that these are just the cutest little thing on earth. So go ahead and make a slip knot. And then you're going to be chaining as long as you want. I'm going to be chaining 15. There we go, chain of 15 completed. So now you're going to be skipping the very first chain into the second. Just grab one little loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, so single crochet. And you're going to be making into every stitch, every chain that you have going down, three single crochets into the same chain. So we have two and three. Go into the next one, make three single crochets. So one, two, and three into the same chain. Into the next one, three single crochets into the same chain and that's going to be making the curly foliage little thing <laughs> and that's all you have to do so carry on creating three single crochets into every stitch going down so i got into my last stitch my last chain into that chain you're going to be doing exactly the same three single crochets so chain one now Cut off yarn, fasten off, 
and with these two ends you're going to be making a knot a triple knot and now we can weave these two ends in And when you finish, it's going to look like this. So you just wanna go around like this, just kind of twisting both ends and it's going to form the twisted foliage, little leaf, the curly leaf. Just kind of organize it in place, just twisting it and it's going to form that beautiful twisted leaf. So you can make as many as you wish. So now the next thing I'm going to show you will be this super simple leaf. You're going to be making a magic ring. And then chain one and single crochet into the ring. This is going to be the first stitch of one of the sides. So after the single crochet, you're going to be making a half double crochet and then two double crochets and then lastly for one of the sides here we are going to be doing two treble crochets so you're going to be wrapping the yarn twice around the hook inserting into the magic ring pulling up a loop yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two loops and then you're going to be doing one more into the ring once you have this sequence on this side you're going to be making a peacock exactly the same as we made for the rows for the bigger rows this one here so chain three one two three and then slip stitch at the front of the two loops of the treble crochet and slip stitch in place and now we are going to be repeating this same sequence on the other side by starting with the two trebles so into the ring two trebles And then two double crochets and then one half double crochet and then lastly one single crochet now you're going to be having something like this and all you have to do is to close the magic ring nice and tight like this and then all you have to do now is to find one stitch at the bottom of the leaf on the other side and you go into slip stitch just so that we have a nice base at the bottom so chain one cut off yarn fasten off and you can now weave these two yarns here at the back so once you have one leaf of this pattern go ahead and make another one and then set this aside and let's make the last piece in which is this beautiful leaf right here. You're going to be making a slip knot. And then go ahead and chain 12. So you're going to be first skipping this very first chain going into the second and then creating a single crochet and then into the next chain half double crochet into the next double crochet so now one treble crochet into the next two 
chains. Now one double crochet into the next two. Now one half double crochet into the next two. And now to finish it off this side, one single crochet into the last two. So now you're going to be chaining two, going into this very first single crochet, grabbing two stitches of that single crochet, and then you go into slip stitch to create a picot at the top. And then into the last stitch, where you did the last single crochet, you're going to be making a single crochet. And then single crochet into the next stitch. one half double crochet into the next two stitches one double crochet into the next two one treble crochet into the next two And then double crochet into the next half double crochet into the next and then single crochet right at the end just like this now we have to slip stitch right in the center of the leaf to create this slip stitch effect right in the middle. So we are going to be following the little gaps that we have in between the stitches and creating slip stitches. So go into this first one, grab the yarn and then go through that loop, go into the next loop. So you're going to be now turning the leaf on this side. So insert your hook into the next little gap that you can find, catch the yarn at the back of the leaf bring to the front and then slip stitch into the loop on the hook and then you're going to be doing this until you reach the top of the leaf And then once you get here at the top, you're going to then cut off the yarn. And now you're going to be just releasing the hook, just pull a little bit up the loop and release it from the hook. Turn the leaf on the reverse, insert your hook right at the top. It can be here into the picot, into any stitch you want. Be this one, and then you're going to be bringing the loop towards the back of the leaf. And now, here you're going to chain one and then fasten off, and that's it. So, here we have the leaf completed. It's that simple, and it looks so cute. So, now we can weave the two ends that we have here at the back. So, once you have one leaf completed is how it looks like you're going to be making another one so once you have all the pieces all the flowers and leaves completed we can now start putting the necklace together so we're going to be putting this aside for a moment so that we can create the base of the necklace and for that I'm going to be using this beautiful beige yarn so with the yarn you want the base go ahead and make a slip knot and you're going to be making a chain that is long enough to create the base, the chain of your necklace. I'm going to be doing 45, 43, 45 centimeters. So I'm going to create my chain and then I will be back to let you know exactly how many chains I did. So I made here a chain of 92 and that gives me, without stretching, 
exactly to 40 centimeters right here and then when I stretch it reaches let me hold it here at the beginning and when I stretch it reaches to 45 centimeters so now we are going to be working into the chain to create the base and the chain of the necklace so first we're going to be just creating some rows of single crochets so skipping here the first chain into the next you can go at the back of the chain, I think it's going to look a little bit nicer, the finishing. So at the back of the chain into that second chain, single crochet. And then into every chain going down, you're going to be creating a single crochet. So we are going to be having 91 single crochets because we have skipped the first one. So I have finished here all of my single crochets across the chain and now to go up you're going to be chaining one turning project and then you're going to single crochet right into that very first stitch so we are not counting the chain one at the beginning and then you're going to single crochet all the way down following the stitches so I'm here now at the end, just following the stitches. Remember that we are not counting the chain that we left here either as a stitch, just the stitches. So here's the last one, stitch number 91, and then single crochet. If you want, you can do more rows. I'm going to be leaving a little bit thinner, just like this. So I'm going to now chain one cut off the yarn and fasten off. You want to get the bigger flower, just place it right in the middle, find a middle for this bigger flower. Like this, I'm happy with this. And place the other two on the side, just like that. We are going to be making some rows from this side all the way to the other just so that we have a bigger base for the flowers to be glued on. If you want, you can use a couple of stitch markers for this part. And you wanna place a stitch marker right in the middle, just a little bit after the middle of this flower into any of the single crochet stitches. So I'm going to do this one on this side and then another stitch on the other side, maybe this one for now remove the flowers and now you want to count from this end how many stitches you have on this side and then you want to match exactly the same on the other side so now we are going to be working from this point to this point going back and forth so with the same shade you want to create a slip knot so remove the stitch marker, insert into that same stitch where the stitch marker was and then you want to attach with a single crochet and now from here we can start. So we are going to be doing some decreases at the beginning and at the end so that it creates kind of like a round at the bottom of the necklace. So first you're going to chain one and then into the next two stitches we are going to be doing a decrease. So you're going to be first creating the first part of a double crochet, like this, and then yarn over, pull through two, keeping that last one on the hook, and then you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook, going into the next stitch, and then you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, keeping that last one on the hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's a decrease. And then from here, you're going to be creating double crochets, all the way into the other stitch marker until you have two stitches left here at the end. So now I got here at the end, so you're going to be removing the stitch marker and creating a decrease into the last two stitches. So go into the first one by creating the first part of a double crochet and then yarn over pull through two, keeping the last one on the hook, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert into the last stitch where the stitch marker was, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, keeping the last one on the hook, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three stitches. 
and that's the decrease at the end. So now to go from one row to the next, you go into chain one, turn project, and then you're going to be creating a double crochet into this first stitch. So this one here, it's going to be just a normal double crochet. And then you're going to be decreasing into the next two stitches. And then now you can just follow the stitches all the way down, creating double crochets until you have two stitches left at the end. So when you get at the end, you have the decrease stitch and the chain. So into these two, you're going to be doing the decrease here at the end. And then the chain is right here. Just grab the stitch and then create the decrease at the end and now you can repeat as many times as you want until you see that it's going to be enough for you to glue and to attach all the flowers into this space now from here i'm going to chain one and single crochet all the way to the other side just so that it's nice and tight the bottom of the row here so chain one turn project and then follow the stitches you have and single crochet all the way down and now when you get at the end chain one cut off yarn fasten off and you want to make sure that you weave these two ends in that it's here into this section that we've just added hello son yes welcome to the video <laughs> so with the bigger flowers we have the yarns at the back so i'm going to be using these to attach my flowers in place. So I'm going to be folding this in half and choosing just the middle of this right here. And here is where this flower, the white flower is gonna go. So I'm going to move this yarn, the one that is on the outside into the middle of the flower. So you're going to be transferring these two yarns to the back of this. Get your hook, choose a stitch, and then transfer these two yarns here at the back. And then here at the back, you're going to be tying a knot to secure this flower in place. Instead of cutting this, you want to weave in, so don't cut it just yet. You can just weave it right here. Remove the stitch marker. So both the yellow flowers will go on the sides like this. So you can go ahead and do the same as I did here with the white to the yellow flowers. Any place you wanna attach them. So I've tried this on with my dress and the white flower right in the middle doesn't look nice so I've created a pink flower instead and I'm going to be attaching right here in the middle. So I'm going to be removing the white and attaching the pink. Now I'm going to weave all of these yarns in here at the back before we move on so that we have these out of the way. So flower changed, now we have to add all the other flowers and leaves and organize into the design that we want for the necklace. So I'm going to be starting with the bigger leaf and add here the other one, here on the other side. Two of these I'm going to be adding right here at the end. And then also on the other side. For this little leaf here, I've added a chain. So let me show you how I did that because I wanted to make them hanging here at the bottom. So you're gonna get a little bit of yarn, leave a nice long tail at the end, fold, that in half like this now bring the leaf insert a hook right in the middle into that little gap this one 
and then you're going to pull up the loop through this little gap and now from here you're gonna get both yarns that is here at the back and create the chain as long as you need I'm gonna do this long and then we can check that later and these ones with the yarn you can cut them or you can use this yarn to attach to the back I'm going to be gluing all of them so I'm going to be cutting the little end off of all of these ones the the buds and also the ones that I've added the chain to so that we can glue that in place without the end and also I've created a pink one so that it matches the pink flower <laughs> as you can see so the pink one is gonna go underneath the pink flower and then the yellow is gonna go underneath the yellow and then the other yellow is gonna go underneath the other side and now we can add the tiny leaves so I'm gonna add right in the middle of the buds like this and on the other side you want to focus all your detail that is hanging around here the flowers not on the sides because this is what's gonna go kind of on your chest and then these curly ones I'm going to be adding right in the middle as well and then for the rest of the chain here I'm going to be adding the flowers and just going all the way and covering all the crochet here just like this and then I'm going to be doing the same to the other side once you have organized and put together how you want we can now start gluing this down I'm going to be using my hot glue for that but you can also sew it in place if you want so I'm going to time lapse me gluing everything down and then I will be back to show you how to attach and sew these nap fasteners in place This is not supposed to be a necklace. This is supposed to be displayed in a gallery because it's so beautiful. <laughs> so get the snap fasteners now. I have one here already. And you wanna make sure that you have a needle that goes through the snap fastener. This one does. Make sure that you know exactly how they close so that you know where to sew and how to sew because one is gonna go at the top and one at the bottom. You can use the same yarn that it's here at the end to sew this in place if you have enough yarn. Otherwise, you can attach a new one in place. I'm going to try my best to use this one. So this one has a little kind of round surface, as you can see. Goes with the little pointy thing towards the bottom. And then we sew it together. So I'm gonna go through one little stitch of the crochet and then through the first gap and then just sew it together and then I'm gonna go through one stitch of the crochet going down like this so that it secures in place and then you're going to be moving this yarn to the other hole that we have to sew it in place go through that And now you go through the crochet again. So now move the yarn into the next. Go through the hole. And go through the crochet down again to secure this in place. And now we can go through the last one. Going down. and sewing that in place. 
All right, so now we are gonna go and weave this yarn in. I'm gonna go through the bottom of these nap fastener like this. And now I can just weave this yarn in here at the back. So we just have a problem here. I completely forgot that this was going to overlap with the other side. And I did glue the flower all the way down because I was so excited and that happens. So I'm just going to try and remove this last flower from here. It is hard, but you can actually remove if you want. And then here I'm going to be attaching the other side of the fastener. The other one is gonna go facing up with the pointy thing facing up. And then you can go ahead and do the same exact sewing here on this side. And now the snap fastener on this side, it's on the right place. We can just now snap it with the other side and now we have it completed. <gasps> oh my goodness. So just inserting this clip right here because I just wanna show you the earrings that I'm making. So I have here these little guys. I'm going to be adding this in the description if you wanna buy them. So I bought these a long time ago. These are called earring posts. So it's basically flat and then it comes with the butterfly backs too. So just place a little bit of glue at the back and then glue that right in place. Now for the other one, do the same thing. So here we go. This is how it looks. And then you can just add the butterfly back right in place. Our beautiful statement necklace is now completed. Our chunky, large <laughs> necklace is now completed with all the flowers. This is exactly how I imagined this to look. It's so beautiful and so intriguing and different, exactly as our beautiful art, our flower garden. Look at this all together. I love the twisted um, leaves. I love, these are my favorite. And also the buds that matches the roses, they are so nice. Look at this. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It's just a work of art. It's so, so beautiful. So yeah, this is how it turned out. I really hope you like it. And if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more videos like this one. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. So thank you so, so much everyone for sticking out until the end and watching today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.